Hello and welcome. This video will cover the Ontario Building Code Supplementary Building Standard SB12 focusing on the prescriptive path only. The various prescriptive paths are found in a six different climate tables grouped by climate zone and space heating system type. Please note that if your gross window to wall ratio is greater than 22% you will need to pursue a different path to achieve building code compliance. If this is your situation, please find us at www.greenreaders.ca to talk through the options available to you. This ratio is the gross window area divided by the gross area of the peripheral walls measured from grade to the top of the uppermost ceiling and specifically excludes any glazing area in the main entrance door and adjacent side lights. On the other hand, if you have less than a 22% window to wall ratio, you could comply by following a pre-approved prescriptive compliance, pa compliance path. Shown are the six tables of pre-approved compliance paths, grouped according to climate zone and space heating system. Zone 1 includes all municipalities where there is less than 5,000 heating degree days in one year. The number of heating degree days can be found in the Ontario Building Code Supplementary Building Standard SB1. Zone 2 includes all municipalities with 5,000 heating degree days or more. The tables are also arranged according to the type of space heating system planned for the home where the house's space heating system has a 90% annual fuel utilization efficiency, also known as AFUE, or greater, the prescriptive path should be chosen from tables 2.1.1.2.A and 2.1.1.3.A. Solid fuel burning and earth energy systems should also use those tables appropriate to their climate zone. If the space heating system is between 78 and 90% AFUE, then tables 2.1.1.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.
And again, please read SB 12, section 2.1.1.5 for details. Basement walls must be a minimum of R12 insulated to within 200 millimeters of the floor slab. For walkout basements, the wall containing the door in any wall where over 50% of the wall area is above grade must meet the walls above grade insulation requirements. In package G, that would be R24. The below grade slab, where the entire slab is more than 600 millimeters or 2 feet below grade, does not need any insulation. However, when the slab is within 600 millimeters of grade, the edge of the slab needs to be insulated with at least R10 insulation, extending no less than 600 millimeters below the exterior ground level. As well, when the floor slab is within 600 millimeters of grade, the entire slab must be insulated to R10. If the slab contains heating elements such as ducts, pipes, tubes, or cables, the heated area that is in contact with the ground shall be insulated to R10. For a window-to-wall ratio of 17% and below, package G requires a metric U-value of 1.8 or lower, or a minimum energy rating of 21. For a window-to-wall ratio between 17 and 22%, the minimum metric U-value requirement goes to a 1.6 or lower, or an energy rating of 25. Energy ratings can be found in table 2.1.1.8. Skylights must meet must all meet a metric U-value of 2.8 or lower. There is no energy rating alternative for skylights. In our chosen package, the minimum annual fuel utilization efficiency for the space heating system must be 92%. The minimum seasonal recovery efficiency at 0 degrees Celsius for the heat recovery ventilator, or HRV, must be 60%. And the energy factor for the hot water heater must be a minimum of 0.62. Meet all these requirements, and should have no problems meeting the code minimum for energy efficiency. I would now like to talk about several special cases, packages K, L, and M, which are cases for homes using insulated concrete forms for walls, or using a combined space and water heating system. Package K is for a house whose basement and above grade walls are made of insulated concrete forms, or ICFs. That house may also choose to comply with any other package, and is not limited to only package K. Package L is for a home that has a basement built with insulated concrete forms and may choose to pick any other package except for package K. And our last package, M, is for a house using combined space and water heater. The efficiency levels must either meet those specified or the equipment must be of the condensing type to meet this package. This concludes our talk about the SB12 prescriptive path. If you have any questions or would like more information, please find us on the web at www.sb12.ca or www.greenraiders.ca. Have a nice day.